Morning folks, uh, or evening. Uh, this is a, a t kind of somewhat taken apart Grillo tractor. And we're gonna shoot a quick little video here showing how to get the handlebar height adjustment lever and spring assembly back onto the handle column. Um, this is a job that sometimes takes two or three people and you know a Bible or something like that. Uh, but today we're going to attempt to do it with one person, so this could be a disaster. Uh, but the thing is, you might only have one person available for this job, so we're going to try to walk you through that. So I've got the lever assembly and the spring kind of stuck together here. And by the way, this is applicable to the G85, G85D, G107, and G110 tractors. The G110 lever looks slightly different, but the way it goes together is the same. Uh, it would also work on the G131, same system on that. But this is the, this is the lever that you would move uh, to adjust the handlebar height up and down. This lever is supposed to be pushed up by a spring to lock into place on the bottom of the handlebars. Anyway, I've got my spring set in here. This is the bolt that you know goes through here as the pivot point to lock it all together. The problem is that the spring tension is so great on this thing, it's very difficult to assemble this thing because it kind of gets assembled under pressure. So we're going to cheat. Uh, instead of the bolt, I'm going to use a little lineup tool to get this together initially. That has a tapered, it starts out smaller than the bolt and it tapers up. So I'm going to put this up here as an assembly, kind of push this up into place. I'm going to lever this up into place like so okay so I've got this all the way through there so it's projecting out the other side now I'll take the bolt and notice I don't have the spring the, the one end of the spring that's normally hooked around the bottom of this lever to push it up I don't have engaged I've just left that off because try if you try to put this hook on the bottom of this thing and then assemble this it's totally impossible I mean you would need uh, you know three men and a horse because there's just way too much spring tension so now I'm going to take the bolt and shove this lineup tool out of there. And you've got to, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the bolt in with one hand and I'm kind of pushing against the lineup tool with the other hand to keep the, the, the tip of the bolt tight against that lineup tool so there's not a gap between them. And I'm going to work this back through here. Okay, there we go. So I got the bolt most of the way through. Sometimes we take a hammer now, tap it, I'll twist around the cycle. There we go. Okay. All right. We're all the way through. Now, of course, the spring isn't doing anything right now. It's just there. One end of the, the tail of the spring is pushing up against the underside of the column. The top of the spring is doing nothing. So what I'm going to do, I've got a scraper here. Um, it's like a big screwdriver, but it's actually a scraper. Uh, and a big screwdriver would probably do the same thing, but I'm using this scraper because of its wider bit. It'll, it'll get a little more leverage on here. But anyway, I'm getting up here to the top, getting under this hook, and I'm using this hook to leverage it down. This is the fulcrum point. I'm up against the bolt in the bottom of the spring here, and I'm leveraging this thing down to get it underneath the handle. And I'm just about there. I use a pliers to kind of snap it over the edge here. Come on. I need, okay, right there. And right there. So that's the trick, is using the leverage point that you have here to bring that down. And if the tip of this isn't wide enough, I mean, you need a pretty good sized screwdriver anyway to get enough, to have enough uh, uh, distance between the fulcrum and where it's pushing on the spring to bring it all the way down. We actually tried it first with a little screwdriver like this, but it just wouldn't bring it down far enough before the screwdriver bottomed out over here. But there you go. Now we're ready to put the nut on over here. Of course, you don't have to tighten this fully. It's just a, it's a lock nut. So it stays where you put it. Just bring it down to, oh, come on. bring it down until it kind of touches the bracket. It doesn't need to be super, if you bring it down tighter and tighter and tighter, you know, and just like crunk, crunk you'll, you'll bend those brackets in. So you just have to tighten it until it's, that's good. there you go. And then you would slide the handlebars uh, in here, which actually, now that I'm thinking about this, 
we've sort of assembled this in the wrong order because the handlebars are not on here. I just mentioned that you could slide the handlebars in here, but you can't. There's not enough clearance here for the handlebar bracket to clear here. So you would do this procedure. You can? Yeah, you can. Okay, Christian says you can. So we're, we're going to let that go down in history. All right, thank you for watching, guys.